All right, fantastic stuff. Um, so the next talk we have here is Traces of Innovation in Thingiverse. So, yeah, come on up. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Haris Kiryaku from Stevens Institute of Technology. And my presentation will be uh, based upon, oh, can you see the whole thing? I'm not sure. Yeah, OK. Uh, it will be based upon work we've done with Steve uh, Engelhardt, who is currently a PhD student at Princeton, and my advisor, Professor Jeff Nickerson. So Thingiverse is a website for the 3D printing design community. Uh, users of Thingiverse can freely download designs. They can modify designs and upload their own versions, or they can combine multiple designs and create something new. We looked at designs that were submitted at Thingiverse over the course of more than three years. And some of the metrics we were interested in were the number of uh, likes its design received, the number of makes, meaning how many people uh, downloaded that design, 3D printed it, took a picture of it, and later uploaded back to Thingiverse, and the number of child designs, meaning how many designs uh, inherited ideas from that design later on. We were also interested in uh, measuring novelty in a more objective way than the ones currently in use. And to achieve that, we used a method primarily used in the computer graphics literature. What that method does, uh, basically does, is uh, compare two given designs and return a unique distance uh, depending on, on their difference in shape, their geomet geometrical difference. Uh, using such a method allows us not only to measure the actual contribution uh, of a designer in the creation process, but also uh, compare any Thingiverse design with any other design that was submitted at the Thingiverse community before that. In a multi-dimensional space, we're able to see whether uh, another design coexists in the relative neighborhood. Uh, as expected, novelty was uh, associated with popularity, meaning that novel designs, uh, more novel designs, uh, were also more likely to receive a higher number of likes. But somewhat unexpectedly, uh, novelty was also associated with practicality, meaning that more novel designs uh, also tended to be printed more. We were, of course, interested also in the value of openness, meaning uh, whether Thingiverse users actually derive some value out of their participation in uh, Thingiverse. To test that, we uh, we categorized designs depending on whether they inherited ideas from any other Thingiverse design, or they were standalone, meaning that the whole creation process happened outside Thingiverse. And as you can see, Thingiverse designs, uh, inherited designs, uh, outperformed standalone designs, both in terms of likes and in terms of makes. Going a step further, we categorized inherited designs depending on their number of parents, and as you can see, designs that had more parents uh, were more likely to become popular. Focusing on uh, designs with uh, one parent, uh, it seemed that uh, designers were better off building upon prior designs of theirs beside, uh, instead of building upon designs of other people, suggesting that perhaps a modular process should be followed. Finally, when we looked at designs with two parents, uh, it seemed that the optimal strategy for someone to follow would be to uh, build upon one design of his own 
and one design of someone else's, given that the end design would be more similar to his prior design. As we find more patterns in the way uh, makers work, we want to build a system that will uh, suggest remixes or maybe remix strategies and test this work with uh, willing makers. So if you're interested in participating or learning more about our work, please come and talk to us. Thank you for having us.